morning Laurie here I hope you guys are well um, it's Monday which means here in the group and for those of you that might be joining um, me and my classes this week at Yoga Love Collective we're working with the last letter of the attitude piece which we've been looking at over the last couple of weeks um, and so we find ourselves at the last letter E and I've been really thinking about um, what this represents and how we can embody um, this attitude of peace in our, in our lives, not just on our map, um, but as we walk through this life. So if we cast our minds back to the very beginning, when we started with the letter P, we looked at the importance of practice, abhyasa the importance of maintaining a regular practice. And that does not mean by any means that it's just about, or it's just conformed to um, yoga asana, right? Yoga, yoga asana on our yoga mat. Um, so if you're not a, a practitioner of physical yoga, it does not mean that you don't do yoga, right? We know that it's far more than just moving. Um, it's moving the mind, isn't it? It's moving our mindset. It's moving, um, yeah, it's shifting our mindset. It's not just physically moving. Um, so the importance of practice and, and in, order for, um, in order for us to attain anything, any, any type of, um, any state, be that a state of, of a physical state that we're working toward or a mental and emotional state or a spiritual state, we need to practice. Um, and then our practice needs to be consistent. And so that moved on to the second letter E, enthusiasm. Um, it's easy when things are going well to keep something going, right? To keep momentum is easy, isn't it? But when life is difficult, when we are presented with challenges, it's in those moments that our practice is really tested. And so we, we looked at the importance of enthusiasm and um, yeah, how that can really give us um, the support to bolster us when things get difficult. And then we entered into the third week, we looked at A, except, um, attachment, that's right, a paragraha, non-attachment. So the importance of non-clinging and non-clinging to um, not only material possessions, but um, things, objects, people, places, circumstances, memories, ideas, concepts, etc. Um, as we understand, that we come to understand that um, one of the biggest causes of suffering in our life is attachment, yeah. And then we entered into the fourth week, which was last week. Um, we looked at the letter C, and in this instance, um, this represented choice, and that we have the ability in each moment to choose where we place our attention. We, um, we all have that ability to choose where we place our effort, where we place our energy. We, um, I'm sure are all familiar with the phrase where your attention goes, energy flows. And so this is what it's really alluding to that if we're focusing on something like a mental construct, um, a, a mental belief, um, and maybe that is as an example, um, I don't know, a, a, a self-belief such as I'm not, I'm not good enough, I can't do it. Um, and we, we plough our, um, our belief into, into that, into that construct. We plough our energy into that construct. It just becomes bigger and it anchors us into that, into that belief. We become completely consumed by the notion that we are, we are not good enough. Um, but we do have the ability, we do have the choice to choose the opposite. We have the choice always um, to choose the opposite attitude. So in that instant, it, instance, it would be, I can do it. I am capable, I am worthy, um, etc. And so we now look at the last week of um, cultivating peace, and that might be um, peace for ourselves internally in order to see peace in the external, we must begin at home, right? We must start with ourselves. Um, and so I've really been um, pondering on what I felt was important um, as we move toward this last week of um, cultivating inner peace, um, what in this instance, the last letter E stands for. And I came with embrace. 
I think embrace is such a beautiful word. Um, embracing all aspects of ourself, embracing our humanness, embracing our human journey, embracing our human needs and desires, um, but also embracing all other parts of us, not just our emotional and mental constructs, but also our, um, our spiritual journey. You know, if you are on a spiritual path, um, we have to find that, that balance, don't we, between um, embracing our, our spiritual needs, um, that, that urge to keep learning and to keep serving, balance with the fact that we are completely anchored in a physical experience, in a, in a human experience. Um, and so this week we'll be looking at um, ways in which we can fully embrace that. You know, how can we embrace um, every part of us without judgment, um, without criticism? How can we embrace our our humanness? How can we embrace our um, our emotions, our thoughts? We can sometimes get swept away by the idea that we need to um, be angelic. We need to um, banish ourselves from all negative thinking and we come to meditation and we stop thinking and it's this almost um, completely elusive um, way, right? This completely elusive um, ideal of what yoga or meditation or being on a spiritual path can look like, right? But I really think we need to, um, we need to challenge those constructs and remember that we are still human, yeah? It's completely normal and natural to feel anger, frustration, um, all of those things, yeah? And it's completely okay to do that. It's completely okay to feel those things and to think those thoughts. Um, and so embracing those, embracing those and understanding through right knowledge, through right practice, through discernment, yeah, through discernment, through dispassion, all of the all of the things, all of the teachings that we're we're offered and encouraged to to practice through the practice of yoga, are we then fully able to embrace all aspects of ourself, our humanness, um, our spirit, our emotion, our um, our mental um, layers, all of these things. Um, and I think when we're able to do that, we're able to move through this experience called life with more grace, more ease, um, and with less suffering. It's important, isn't it, that we're able to give ourselves complete permission to be human, um, to do human things. I know that might sound a little bit crazy, um, but if you are in a spiritual path, sometimes we can get so... Um, caught up in the, the upper realms of that journey that we forget to, to anchor back in, yeah? And sometimes through that, we can completely disconnect from um, those really grounding, fundamental aspects of our experience. So we'll be looking at that this week. We'll be um, embracing all that is, yeah, all that we are. And um, I'd like to leave you with one final um one final thought. So each, uh, each day in the group, in the Yoga Love Collective community group, we work with a different um, theme, if you will. And Monday is all about our affirmations and what we want to set for our day, or maybe it's for the week. Maybe you like to set an affirmation or a sankalpa for your week or an intention. Um, so today I invite you, yeah, with the, with the overarching um, theme of embrace, yeah, as we look at the wider lens of peace to set your own intention for today or this week. And may it start with, um, I am that. And maybe write down, get some paper out and write it down. And I got this from um, Wayne, Wayne Dyer. He actually wrote this or he spoke of this um, in, one of his, um, in one of his recordings I came across on YouTube. And he said, get a piece of paper out and write it down. I am that. And then all of the things underneath it. So what are you? Write all of those things down. Um, 
For example, I am abundant, I am love, I am complete, I am whole, I am happy, I am well. Um, all of these, all of the things that resonate with you. Um, and when we write it in that way, when we write it in the present tense, I am, it reaffirms this, um, it reaffirms the fact that we are already these things. When we um, put things in the future tense, I want, um, we can get caught up in this idea that we need to move toward it, therefore we aren't already that. Yeah, we have to move toward it, which moves us actually away from ourselves. But we need to remember or, or unlearn almost. Yeah, we need to unlearn. We need to remember that we are already all of those things. So do that for me if you can today. Write that, write that down and let yourself, let yourself go with it. It might be difficult. You might find it quite, quite challenging or maybe it comes with ease. Um, don't give yourself a hard time. Don't put yourself under any pressure, any, any, under any expectation. Um, but maybe that can be our practice today as we set our affirmations for this week. I am that. And then all of the things that you are, because you are everything. <laughs> thank you for being here. Um, thank you for listening. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your love and thank you for your support. I hope you have a really, really good day and I'll be, um, yeah, I'll be catching up with you as the week continues, as we look to embrace all that we are. Much love.